you know, you might think that, you know, as a pretty much hardcore gamer or whatever, that I would, uh, that I'd be pretty much comfortable sitting in a chair all day, you know, to play games, because, you know, play them a lot. But, um... I don't think I'm gonna get enough benefit out of going through those other things. I, just, I better just do it. Because all of the loot I find is garbage. And I'm not gonna find any different weapons, and I'm probably not gonna get enough money to upgrade more than one thing, so this I'm just gonna do it. Going in. I do wish I had my other characters still alive, so I could have a second chance at the boss. You know there's gonna be a boss. I haven't seen the boss, but it's gonna happen, I'm sure. There's always a boss. Um, Calm down, bro. Um, I, I like to, uh, I end up standing up and walk around a lot. Um, like, even at work, I'll, you know, I'll get up every, at least once an hour uh, or so. You know, I'll get up, get a cup of water, coffee, whatever. Um, just walk around, you know. Keep that circulation going. I I'm not good at just sitting still and doing the same thing for all of eternity. It's one thing that makes streaming a little bit rough for me. I'm so glad there's a run or a jump button. I don't like it in Doom, because it's not natural. But in this game, I will take the graces of the run button. Because it lets me get over things that I would have been dead if not for that jump button, probably. Because that barrel was in my way. And I would have had to blow it up to get out. That would have killed me. It's freaking liar chests. That's what I'm gonna call them. They're liar chests because it looks like they're gonna be good. But no, it's the same crap. Yeah, let me let me just show you the shotgun. It's a shotgun. Pretty much what you expect. I do not find it particularly great. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. Ooh, tech. All right. Oh, another Arachnotron. Now, I have not played Doom 2 ha half as much as the original. I think it's probably the same for most people, really. It's probably not that special, but uh, I enjoy Doom 2. Uh, mechanically, like, the, the new enemies are great. You know, the... The Hell Knights are a great way to have, you know, the risk of a Baron of Hell without, you know, it taking forever to die. Um, the level of design is just not as good. It's just not as good. Uh, like that city, and I know it's pretty infamous, that stupid city map where you can get lost in for... I think I played it for like an hour, that one stupid map. And most Doom maps you can complete in like one minute. Hold on, I gotta drink. Um, I think it has less Romero-designed maps, maybe? No, it, it's, the quality is definitely lower in terms of map. I wouldn't say necessarily gameplay, like, the Super Shotgun is great. Um, the Mancubus, the, you know, the new enemies are all great. Um, you know, they, they try to make, you know, bigger fights and stuff. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It lets you fight a Cyber Demon, like, let a Cyber Demon fight the Spider Mastermind. Um, but it also sort of abuses its ability to, you know, use the final bosses, or, you know, the episode ending bosses like normal enemies, because, like, especially Thy Flesh Consumed. I, no, that's that's a Doom 1 map, but I mean, in Doom 2, they do a lot of things, like, there'll be, there's a room with, like, ten Hell Knights and a couple Barons of Hell. Um, there's a, the Crusher map with the, erect, with the, uh, Spider Mastermind. There's one map with like 20 Arachnatrons. You know, they, they just sort of went for having a lot of enemies and that that is the level design. Just there's a lot of enemies. And maybe you'll get a super sphere or whatever that's called to heal you afterwards or something. It's alright, but 
I mean, this is insulting, I guess, but it, it feels kind of like a pretty decent modder map, but I mean, you know, the first sort of mod people will make is like, hey, you know, like nuts.wad. They'll make, just cram a ton of enemies in there. It's not, you know, just stupid like nuts.wad actually is, but there's clearly an intent to just, okay, they play Doom, so we're gonna put a bunch more enemies in there because they can deal with it, right? And the actual level design just is a little eh. Though that Mancubus level, um, where you have to kill the four and then a bunch of more crap spawns, I mean, that's an alright level. That that was a pretty good way of doing that sort of thing, you know, the throw tons of enemies at him gimmick. I just wish the whole game didn't feel like that. And I've never played the Final Doom maps. I do... Do I have Final Doom? No, I don't think I do. Should probably get it sometime, but, uh... Like, I heard the Plutonia Experiment and the other one, I forget its name, um, like, they just try to be way harder, which I guess makes sense. <sighs> Again, with this melee crap. Melee... If I were not on such a good run, I would try melee, just to see why it is even relevant, because it does not seem like it is worth it. At, like, I don't see how it could possibly be worth it. Why were you taking so little damage? Maybe there is criticals? I'm so confused. Sometimes things... Like, I should be dealing 20 damage at good range, but sometimes I just don't. And now I am. I'm just so confused. Oh my god! Calm down! See, I think I will like the new Doom. I haven't bought it yet. I don't want to spend a ton of money on it. Um, I have plenty of other games to play. I have too many. I will. I will never run out of the games, especially since I started getting press copies, like, even if I never requested another press copy and just got stuff that people already send me, I would just never run out of games. Not necessarily stuff I want to play, but it it's still a lot of games. And I don't like to completely ignore stuff that I didn't ask for either, because some stuff I didn't ask for is ends up being really damn good. But I, you just gotta, you know... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh my god, oh my god. What happened? How did I... Whoa, whoa. That was my bad, I guess. B -b -b I, I don't know, that, that was too quick. That... Uh, crap. I really gotta find some health pickups. Come on. That's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. Give me health. Give me health. Thank you. Three, six. Ugh. I guess I won't die in one hit unless I, you know, bump into that same jerk. But. I don't think those, like, explosive things can drop items. That would be a little silly. <sighs> Crap. I didn't want this to go down this way, obviously. Oh, man. I lose to the final boss because of that. Oh, man, I'm low on ammo, too. All right. Oh, if I die on this floor, I... Uh -oh. Here we go. I'll probably call it quits, to be quite honest. I mean, I'll probably still play the game, but I don't think I'm gonna do another run. At least not tonight. I saw you! You- how- oh my god! It keeps happening! And I got hit. I got freaking hit. Of course I got hit. Stupid. Bullcrap.
Oh dang, you have very little ammo for this thing. You dead? No? Oh god, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Ugh. Wait, where'd my gun go? Okay. Got it. Lock and load. I know you're in here. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Got it. Uh, oh my God, this bullets. Okay. Getting pretty intense here. Oh my god, a whole hallway with this bull crap. That. That is crap. I'm sorry, but that is crap. You gotta be kidding me. You. Th this is offensive. This is. Okay. 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 Oh my... For one hit! One bad jump. Uh, I figured it would go down that way. I wanted to see the boss at least. So this is the thing where you can buy stuff with tech. I don't really care about that. I guess this unlocks more weapons to use. Devastating up close. Talk mercy. Oh! Okay. First aid training increases effectiveness of health pickups. So yeah, this is where you can buy stuff with tech to uh, permanently upgrade your stuff. Oh, okay, assault shotgun. Okay, so we weren't getting different drops because we have to unlock them. I was kind of wondering that. Great all around protection, yeah. So yeah, you have to unlock the drops. That's that's an interesting way to do it. You can build one additional room in your bunker. Yeah, I'm mostly gonna go for the passive stuff. Punk, deadly, no, not the melee dude. Rifle damage. See, so yeah, the loot's been boring because we haven't unlocked the cool loot. That makes sense. I want that. I'm just buying the cheap stuff to see if I can get a better draw. Doesn't look like it will, though. I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if I want that because I'm not sure if I have anything unlocked. Well, I, I, we'll see. Um, damn. You know, I really am enjoying this. Um, I think I will continue, actually. Shall we Don't mess with Texas. Cleopatra Rex, queen of the bunker. I do kind of want to just do a couple grind runs. This is Molly Pop. Just to Pop see going. more interesting stuff. But... Excuse me? Excuse me? It spawned me without ammo. How freaking? It spawned me without ammo. It spawned me without ammo. How dare you? What was that? It, it's, it hasn't done that before. That was weird. 50 tech already. See, now I kind of want to die and just use that tech. So yeah, okay, I understand this game much better. That, that's one thing about roguelikes. Y you haven't really understood the game until you've died a few times and you see what happens. And that's interesting, but frustrating. Yeah, for some reason, you still don't, you only get one weapon on your first map. Even after you've unlocked, you know, the bunker and stuff and died. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna go through one or two areas, and then I'm gonna pick it up later. So I got some other stuff to get to tonight. No tech! Oh, tech is the most precious resource. Can't let it disappear. Kind of tempted to try a melee and shotgun just to see what I'm missing. But these just seem way more reasonable. Man, I, I hope the other types of rifle aren't like just sniper rifle because that could be boring. I like my, you know, always effective. Go. What am I trying to say here? You know, it's a balanced weapon. That's why I like the pistols, that's why I like the assault rifle. I want more weapons like that. The very specialized guns just don't do much for me. They're not really fun enough, at least to me, in this game, to uh, justify. The reduced general effectiveness. The, honestly, except in the original Doom, I have rarely found a rocket launcher, aside from like competitive multiplayer, to be very useful. Because the amount of ammo and the situations that you can use it in are just... Eh, it's just not... I also think the game is starting out harder, because the first, very first map I spawned in it pretty much only had those little things that hover towards you and suicide. Oh, neat! I already have the assault armor. It's... Free and clear. It's plus 10 instead of plus 5, which most things are. Yeah, I can still only build two things. Oh, it's the firing range plus one weapon. Yeah, I can't build another room. But, uh... I had to buy something, because, I mean, that'll, you know, decrease the pool of available stuff. So I'll, uh, see more fun stuff later. What's this one? Max health. Ooh! Okay, that's alright. I thought that was just, like, a passive thing. But yeah, that'll be, that'll be nice, because health pickups are very weak right now. I can't believe I didn't notice how doomy this is, the uh, map. That's actually, that's something else I missed in Doom 2. I actually really like those little maps that show, you know, show you the moon and show you the, the levels. It just gave it a feel of cohesion and it felt really cool. And I wish Doom 2 had that. Hard hats for a rocket launcher. That sucks. Wait. Yeah. Probably not gonna use shock it or shotgun either. I almost said shock at launcher. It's probably a thing in Borderlands. And again, I pick up a gun with no ammo. What is going on? Skate pads. So yeah, there's probably heavy armor you can unlock for every slot. Oh no, money! And yeah, money will be more useful as you get, as you unlock the, you know, the better bunker upgrades. Currently it's basically just basic weapon upgrade and uh, health stuff. Basically never need to change this armor. This health is exactly what I want. Or armor. Delightful. You know what? I will take the shotgun for now. Did I unlock the assault Next shotgun floor. or no? I forget. Next floor, then. Whatever. I guess we'll try to go for an even 25 to 30 minutes, so I'll do one more level after this.
Yeah, not very impressed with the shotgun thus far. I'll take that. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. I thought that was like an enemy's arm clipping through the wall. I thought those were panties for a second. That'd be an unusual pickup. This isn't a Japanese game. Excuse me. Yeah, there's the. Ooh! See you in hell. Ah, oh, nice! Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Only 30 shots. But I assume the amount of damage makes it worth it. Oh my god! Where have you been all my life? For 54 damage, and I don't even have all of the upgrades. When I was doing 20 a pop, I had like... Plus 100% damage for pistols. Kind of tempted to get that money. Eh, the melee is doing nothing for me, so yeah. Oh, I want to marry this gun. That'll do nicely. Whew. I'm so glad I unlocked that. I everything, everything is going into pistol, and we're going with Molly Pop because of that amazing gun. All right, one more. And we'll make it a long one. And I might... Let's go. I might play through the other two off-camera to, uh... This is Molly Pop. I'm going in. It's a good match with the assault rifle, too. Because I can use the assault rifle for the trash mobs. And, uh... Because it's a bit slow, but anytime ah, that's just that's just embarrassing. But yeah, anytime anything big pops up, pow right in the kisser. Seventy four. Oh. oh my goodness. This, th oh man, I was so disappointed in the weapons so far, but this, if this is the only other good gun in the game, I might be happy. I hope it's not, obviously, but damn, that is so awesome. You know, that, the one thing, the one game that really made, well, I guess Half-Life 2 does it too, but I, I really loved how uh, Borderlands 1 made Magnums feel really powerful. Uh, that's one thing that they got way wrong in um, Borderlands 2. The not quite magnums do not pack the same punch. Like, Malawan has some guns that, uh, they're pseudo magnums, but they don't pack half the punch. They just don't feel right. The magnums in Borderlands 1 were amazing. And I really hope Borderlands 3 brings back that sort of feel. It doesn't have to be a different class of weapons with different ammo. But it needs to be good. I think the unifying ammo, they just got, they wussed out and they tried to not make anything like Magnum class quite. But it sucks because Magnums are so good. How could you, how dare you? Ideas are dangerous things, Mollipop. Um, how could you take that from us? Also, I love that falling enemies will open like packages or like not packages, uh, containers. And yeah, one thing regarding ammo, I should just pick up, you know, I, I can pick up the weapons that spawned, and they'll have ammo in them. So, there was no excuse for what I did earlier when I ran out of ammo. Um, I just panicked, and I wasn't thinking. And I mean, there were two giant robot dogs chasing after me, so I mean, most people would probably panic. But, uh, there's a clear live and learn situation there. Love that thing! So good. Oh goddamn. That that gun. That gun is basically why I wanna keep going now. So damn good. 
I think more games need magnums, because I mean, Here we go. sniper rifles as the, you know, the super gun, it's so boring. And I mean, there's the whole MLG culture with, you know, 360 no scopes, and it's, mm. it's the thing that everybody wants to go use and be cool. And it's just, snipers are lame. You just die randomly because some guy is in a sniping position. And in Team Fortress 2 and stuff, you gotta have snipers to take out the other enemy snipers, and it just snipers are boring, okay? I'm tired of them, and I want to see some major AAA games come out and just say, no, snipers are boring. We're not gonna have those. We're gonna focus on different stuff, and I think Magnums have that feel, but you have to be close. So it, it has risk that snipers basically don't. Snipers are really safe and slow and just bleh. But this thing, like, I know the Halo 1 pistol, you know, maybe you could say it's a little overpowered, but um, it was so goddamn fun to use, and it wasn't like hit enemies from across the map good, but in mid-range combat, there was really nothing better, and health, uh, it was just, it was fun. I don't have that same kind of fun with sniper rifles. I That's a wrap. I think things are way too focused around snipers these days. Give me some magnums. Give me some more clustered shotguns that are, you know, short and medium range instead of this, you know. Shotguns are actually very accurate at a decent range. What they, what they are is supposed to be accurate at, you know, medium range because, you know, you're hitting birds or deer whatever uh, the, the video game shotgun cut off is just kind of ridiculous um, oh I wanted to say that for bullseye actually my rifles hitting kind of weak so I guess anything's good oh yeah a nice thing about this you can just exit and continue anytime it will erase your save or I mean you know you'll have to start a new game after you hit, get to you know after you die what what is what is this that he's holding? I guess it's an upside down shotgun with no trigger. Yeah, I don't have this guy. Or Oh, are you Magnum Lady? I need to unlock Magnum Lady. But I guess um, Molly Pop gets bonus to Magnum anyway. But uh, spawning with Magnum would be even better. Well, I guess I I've been seeing them pretty commonly. Whatever. This is Bunker Punks. I'll probably continue this. Not tonight, but well, I mean... Like I uploaded all of these at once anyway, but uh, yeah, I'll I'll probably continue this.